They've been gathering dust in Nelson packing sheds, but now more than a decade's worth of wearable art is getting a new lease on life. The internationally acclaimed world of wearable art has officially opened a multi-million dollar permanent home. Hannah Belcher takes a look. Wearable art sisters Susie Moncrief and Heather Palmer putting the finishing touches on their 14-year-old dream. It's staggering to be sitting here today in this magnificent building with all these fantastic costumes around, finally having their day after being packed away for so many years in boxes. Up until now, these wearable art creations have been locked away in various warehouses dotted around the Nelson region. But now the public can be mesmerised by this artistic splendour all year round. It's just like being in the middle of a real live wearable arts show. This multi-million dollar wearable art complex has been a year in the planning. Last night, the doors were officially opened. Tourism promoters say this evolving exhibition is poised to become one of the country's major attractions. It's the most significant um, new development tourism in our region. Uh, it's going to bring people in here who uh, have an interest in cultural tourism. And fashion has been humorously married with cars. Nelson's classic car collection is also a permanent resident here. It's like you've got the girls' half and the boys' half with the wearable arts and the cars, but the two go together really well. And I think it's one of the most interesting museums we've got. Everybody is an artist and they have the ability to be able to create, and I think this will inspire them. Hannah Belcher, One News.